pleased with our kids tonight. I think they're ready to play. I thought we had great at bats. Um, you know, the game's still in question. Lingo comes in and does a great job for us. And coupled with that, I was really proud of uh, Collins. I thought he had some big time blocks with runners in scoring position. And I think he's really starting to make that jump from being a freshman into being a sophomore. And I thought Reed Humphreys tonight took a step forward too. He only got the one hit, but he's starting to put some really good swings on balls. Really pleased with West Ray. Somebody that took really good swings, didn't get any hits, but you know, shortstop made an unbelievable play on a ball that he crushed in the six hole. Hit a ball really deep tonight. I think he's starting to get in rhythm and really pleased with him. Top two guys in the order got six hits tonight. Can't say enough about what those guys did. You know, Pirtle hits a three run homer when the game's in question, and what does he do later on? You know, he stands in there and gets hit by a pitch. And, and that's, those are the kinds of things that championship clubs uh, do, and that's what we want to be. So we got to keep doing those kinds of things. And, you know, this is one win. It, it doesn't mean anything except that it allows you to advance. We're going to play a great Kentucky team who can really score runs. So we, we got to be ready for them. Does Ross pitch tomorrow? Uh, we're going to have to talk about it tomorrow. Um, you know, it's a, it's a strategic thing just from the standpoint of if you win tomorrow, you get a day off. And uh, that could be big for our ball club as well to rest our pitching staff a little bit. But, you know, we got a lot of guys in that dugout who have won a lot of SEC tournament baseball games. And, uh, and they clearly understand what's at stake and they, they know what it takes to, to get it done. So hopefully tomorrow we'll play well and we'll wake up tomorrow and talk with Ross and some other guys and see where we are with uh, who's going to pitch. John, is it a coincidence that you're just kind of going to your postseason guys? You know, Wes Ray, DeMarcus Henderson, Brett Pirtle, guys that have kind of made that run for you already before and know yeah, what it's about. There's no question that's a factor. You know, I've always said Wes is going to have to be a factor in this for us to do what we need to do in postseason. And this is the beginning of postseason. And it's good to see him uh, start to get in rhythm as a hitter. You know, and not to forget, he made a big league play at first base tonight too, which is good to see. Uh, you know, you just—I've said this a million times in the last three years, but it, you just don't see the guys that big who can move like he does on plays like that. So a little bit of everything tonight, but you got to put it in the rearview mirror and you got to understand that tomorrow's zero-zero and you're playing a, a really good Kentucky club. When Lingren comes in at second and third, one out, and he needs to strike out, what's to say about a guy that he needed to get two Ks and got two Ks out to preserve that, uh, I think it was 4 nothing no, at that point? It's just not surprising because he's done it all year. And the game's in the balance, and he knows that he wants the ball. And, you know, I've already mentioned this, but it's big when he's, you know, he throws out power and slider, and Gavin Collins, a freshman, I hadn't seen many breaking balls like that in his career, blocks it up, chests it up. He's been working so hard with Jake Wells, and he's, he's starting to make that adjustment. Um, so I'm, I'm just as proud of him as, as I am Jacob. But, but Jacob, uh, you know, he's impressive tonight. He's been impressive for a large portion this year. John, a lot of people see Jacob as being kind of goofy with the bench mobs and stuff, but he seems like he showed some maturity tonight. He didn't know he was going to be able to go. He threw a lot of pitches yesterday in the bullpen, and he still gave you a quality outing. He did. Um, you know, we always check with him. If they can't go, they can't go. Uh, but he wanted the ball tonight. He knew it was going to be a tight ball game, and it was when he came in the ball game. The ball game's still in the balance. If he doesn't come in and does what what he does, then you know maybe it's a different result. Maybe we don't even get a chance to, to put up that kind of an inning. But uh, you know, really proud of him. You know, I, 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 we wanted to get him out. Uh, we we're going to get him out no matter what. We we're going to bring Miles. I mean, Miles has been throwing the ball really well too. I was so impressed with the, with the way he's spinning the baseball in the mound right now.